Today we're going to talk about split testing with Google Website Optimizer. The Google Website Optimizer is part of your Google AdWords account. If you don't have a Google AdWords account, you can sign up for an account at http colon forward slash forward slash google dot adwords dot com. If you have a Google AdWords account, please log in now. Once you've logged in, browse to the Website Optimizer link. What we're going to do is set up an A-B split test. A split test will allow you to test two landing pages against each other in real time. Let's use the example of a sales page for your ebook or other product. The sales page would be the landing page. To set up the split test, we would need two sales pages with different variables on each. For example, you can test two different variations of your sales letter with the only difference between the two being the headline. A split test would randomly show a visitor to your website one of the two sales pages. If the visit results in a sale, then that sale would be tracked against the sales page that made the sale. At the end of the test, you'd be able to judge if one headline resulted in more sales than another and then test another variable. So let's get started. I'm going to switch to one of the other tabs I have here to show you the two sales pages that I've created. So here's the first one and here's the second one. What I've decided to test for this split test is the headline but you can also test other elements such as the guarantee, the order box, the price, etc. Just be sure to only test one element at a time. For this example, as you can see, I'm testing the headline. When I've determined which headline tests better, I may test the guarantee. So let's take a look at the two headlines I'm testing. The first is Get the ultimate system for making a full-time living writing ebooks part-time in 12 easy modules. The second is how to become outrageously successful selling ebooks part-time in 24 hours or less. I also have another file open. This is my confirmation page, the page that buyers will be directed to once they've made their purchase. Google will call this page the conversion page. Make sure that all three pages are already loaded onto your web server. We'll be using all three pages for our split test. Switching back to Google, let's see how to set up the test. Click on the Create a New Experiment link. We'll be setting up an A-B experiment, so click on the Create button. We already have the files opened on the A-B experiment checklist, so we'll click that I've completed the steps and click Continue. You'll be asked to give the experiment a name. Mine will be called Ebook Course Headline Test. Tab over to the original page URL field and type in the URL for the original sales page. So I'm just going to copy mine. You'll see that Google checks to make sure that the page is live. Tab over to the page variation URL and enter the URL for your second page. Once Google confirms that the page is found, tab over to the conversion page URL and enter the conversion address there. Once it's found, click Continue. The next page will ask you who will be installing the JavaScript. I'm going to select that I'll install the, and validate the JavaScript tags and click Continue. Okay, as you can see, it's given me a few different tags to install on different pages. The first set of code, the control script, is to be copied 
right after the opening body tag of your HTML page. Clicking in the box will highlight all the code. Simply copy it and then switch over to Dreamweaver or whatever program you use to edit your HTML code. Confirm that you're working with the correct sales page and then switch to code view. Find the opening body tag, there it is, and then paste the code onto the page. Then switch back to Google. The next set of code, the tracking script, which is this code right here, the tracking script, needs to be inserted directly before the closing body tag of the original page. So let's copy the code and paste it right into the sales page. So I'm going to scroll down until I find the closing body tag and paste the script in there. Save the page and then we'll move on to the next section in Google. So now we need to make changes to the variation pages. Now uh, my variation page is writeyourebook2.html. Here we only have to copy the tracking script right before the closing body tag. So let's do that. So before the closing body tag, and save the page. Back to Google. Finally, we have another set of tracking script that needs to be inserted right before the closing body tag of your conversion page. So let's do that and save the page. So we'll copy it, head over to Dreamweaver, head over to the confirmation page, switch to code view, and then paste it in right before the closing body tag. We'll save the page and we're done. So now you upload all three pages to your web server and then you click the validate pages button. So please pause the video while you upload the pages to your web server. Okay, welcome back. So now that you've uploaded all three pages to your web server, we're going to click the Validate Pages button. Once you see the congratulations message, you're good to go. Click on OK. If you see any error messages, just retrace your steps and try to install the code again. So we're going to click Continue. You'll see a summary of the work we just completed. The experiment status is not started. You'll see a summary of your experiment pages and then you'll see that you can preview the experiment. I would click the URL just to make sure that everything looks okay. The site will open in a new tab and you can scroll between the two pages. If everything looks okay, close this page to return to Google and then click Start Experiment. You'll see the message that you've successfully started this experiment. Data will start being collected immediately, but it probably won't display for a few hours. Click on the Website Optimizer link to return to the Optimizer dashboard. You should now see the new experiment listed there. Congratulations! You've successfully set up a split test to test two headlines against each other. To get an accurate view of which headline is resulting in better conversions, that is, more sales, you'll need at least 50 sales to get an accurate picture. So get out there and promote your product and use this data to make your sales pages better.